What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here, and welcome to this guide to the cheapest high potential attacking midfielders in FIFA 15. Uh, this is going to be perfect for you if you're starting off with a team with a really tight budget and you can't afford many players, but you still want to bring in high quality players, because every player uh, that I look at today um, in the lower league gem series will cost a maximum of £1 million, and uh, if you can't actually buy them in the first window, the value from your scout will be £500,000. So that by the time they become available in January, they're going to be cheap then as well. Uh, make sure you go to fifascoutingtips.com because there'll be the full article on there with every player. Today I'm just going to have a look at my recommendations in this video. But that will have every player that matches that criteria and with a minimum potential of 76 as well. So you know you're going to get really good players. Uh, all the articles are sorted by position as well, so it's uh, pretty straightforward to find the players that you're looking for. Uh, also make sure you enter the scouting competition that I'm running at the moment if you found a really good scouted player. Uh, take a picture when they're in the academy or just after they've been promoted and uh, send it over to uh, the uh, social media streams for FIFA Scouting Tips. All the links will be in the description for you as well. That closes on the 30th of November, so you've got less than a week to enter that. Uh, so make sure you enter that soon. And uh, first of all, let's have a look at my recommendations for attacking midfielders. And first of all, we've got Jeremy Boga. Now, he uh, starts at 59 overall, but he has 80 potential. So he's going to grow absolutely loads. He's got really, really high potential. And he's just 17 years old as well, plays for Chelsea. And uh, your scout's value of him will be £100,000, but you can't actually get him in the first window. Uh, so if you inquire in January, uh, Ch Chelsea will want around about a million pounds uh, around about £900,000, that sort of range for him. So you can get him for about £775,000, uh, £800,000 uh, in that sort of region. And uh, his wages are £2,250, he's got a six year contract, he's right footed with three star weak foot and three star skill moves. Now I really like this guy because a lot of very young players um, have absolutely terrible stamina. <laughs> Um, this guy has great stamina, 76 stamina, that's going to make him last all game, he's going to be able to play game after game and that's very very important for getting him to grow quickly because the more games he plays the better he's going to grow uh, if he keeps playing well. So you want to play as many games as possible, this is really going to help his growth. He's also very fast and he's got very good dribbling as well so he's quite capable of playing on the wing if you need him to. Uh, so he's quite flexible in that regard and uh, so that's 78 uh, acceleration and sprint speed combined with that 70 dribbling that's very good for a 59 overall like I said makes him very good on the wing or you can play him straight through the middle as well where that dribbling is going to be a nightmare for defenders to get the ball off him uh, so with that high potential uh, he is absolutely worth considering uh, next up we've got Jesse Lingard now, he starts at 68 overall and he's got 77 potential he's 21 years old and he plays for Manchester United now uh, his cost from uh, your scout will be £775,000 that's how much your scout reckons he'll be and uh, generally speaking when you get a price like that back from your scout uh, you expect to get um, a price back from Manchester United of around about £2 million that sort of region but no they only want £450,000 for him that's a real bargain for him and uh, so you can get him for around about £300,000 less than half the price that your scout reckons he should cost uh, his wages are £10,000 and he's only got a one year contract so that's probably why he's so cheap uh, he is right footed and he has a three star weak foot and three star skill moves now um, Lingard is a bit more uh, well rounded than Boga he's a bit quicker uh, he's got very very good balance and good dribbling as well so that's going to be great for taking the ball around defenders but as well as that he's got very good passing so he's going to be able to set up your teammates uh, for opportunities if you play him just behind the strikers good vision as well that will help but as well as that his finishing is also very good uh, so you could play him in a more advanced role if you wanted uh, he could even play as a striker but his good pace and dribbling will get him round defenders and then he can finish off the chances as well so he's an excellent attacker and for just £300,000 for his overall and his potential uh, that's a really good player uh, for that price and I'll give him a serious uh, consideration as well and then finally we've got Francisco Pizzini, now he also starts at 68 overall, he's got 76 potential and he's 20 years old, he plays for Independiente in Argentina and uh, the scouts uh, valuation is again £775,000 but again he costs less than we'd expect, if you send an inquiry you'll get a price back of £975,000 so he just creeps in under a million pounds uh, but that's much less than you'd expect to pay for a player like this. 
uh, his so that means that you can get him for around about seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds to eight hundred thousand pounds again good price for a player with this kind of overall and uh, his wages are seven thousand pounds he's got a three-year contract and he's right footed two star weak foot and three star skill moves and he also has a long shot taker trait and um when it comes to this guy uh what i really liked about him was he's very well rounded even better uh, than Lingard so if you look at his long shots and his shot power for example uh, that uh, long shot taker trait is a bit of a clue he's gonna be good at shooting from distance so I wouldn't be afraid to take a shot outside the box if he gets the ball there he's also got excellent dribbling and ball control and good pace as well so like Lingard and Boga he's gonna be good at getting around defenders uh, but decent crossing unlike the other two so he can play on the wing if you want him to or on uh, left or right midfield well, that's going to come in very handy and his passing is also fairly decent as well so he's going to be a good creator as well so if there's something you need him to do in the uh, opponent's half of the pitch you know he's going to be able to do it he's a very very good player for that so those are my three recommendations i'm now going to uh, go forward three seasons so you get a good idea of the type of players that these players uh, develop into okay here is boga after uh, three years of growth and he has grown uh, 12 points. He's now up to 71 at just 20 years old. Uh, grown four points in this season. That's fantastic growth. And uh, like I said at the start of this video, he is now becoming a very, very good winger. Really well suited to that role with 80 dribbling and a very good pace. 74 ball control as well. It's going to come in really useful for taking the ball past uh, defenders, getting into good positions as well. And his 70 finishing has grown up nicely as well, so he can finish uh, the chances that he creates when he goes forward as well. Uh, passing is going pretty decent now as well, and uh, his shots from distance won't be long till they become very dangerous as well. They've grown six points in this season, uh, his shot power and long shots. So yeah, he's becoming a very good attacker, can play in the middle or on the wing if you need him to as well. Uh, now we've got Lingard, he's now 74 overall at 24 years old and uh, look at his physical stats, Those uh, that acceleration and sprint speed has grown, grown up really really quickly now, 89 acceleration, he's very very quick and uh, like Boga his dribbling and his finishing are both very good so he's going to be able to uh, put away those chances, score you plenty of goals as well. He's starting to specialise as a passer as well with 75 vision, 79 short passing and 71 long passing so he can create chances as well so he could uh, he could play as an attacking midfielder or you could push him a bit further forward and play up front if you wanted where that good pace and finishing is going to be very useful indeed. And then finally we've got Pizzini and uh, unlike Lingard he's a bit more well rounded like I said uh, earlier on. So all his stats all over the board are growing nicely, his physical stats are going up and his technical stats too. Like the others he's a very good dribbler and a good ball control as well. But um, unlike the other two he's got excellent long shots now, those are uh, going up very nicely. Um, should be uh, getting very dangerous very soon and good curve as well so that's going to make them a bit more dangerous as well and uh, he's got excellent crossing as well so you can put him on the wing or on left or right midfield there and he can create chances for his teammates good passing as well and uh, long and short passing and good vision as well so he's a good uh, chance creator for his teammates as well so all three of these players good at different things uh, but all worth considering if you're looking for a good cheap uh, attacking midfielder so uh, head over to FIFA Scouting Tips where you'll see all the players uh, in the game that have a minimum uh, potential of 76 and a maximum cost of £1 million. Uh, these are just my recommendations today. So if you found a good player who wasn't uh, in this video or um, maybe one of these players who you have used yourself and you thought they were really good, make sure you leave a comment below and uh, let us know how you did with them. Uh, if you, there's anything else you want to see me do on this channel, uh, please let me know. I've got loads of ideas for what I'm going to be doing soon. It's just trying to find the time to do it. Uh, but I should have a bit more time soon, hopefully. So I'll be branching out and doing some different things for you as well. Uh, make sure, like I said earlier, that you enter the scouting competition. So if you found a really good scouted player, um, make sure you take a picture when they're in the academy or just promoted. Um, so they haven't grown at all yet. Uh, so we can see how good they are. Uh, you can send a picture to the uh, FIFA Scouting Tips Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash FIFA Scouting Tips. Or you can send it to the uh, Twitter page, which is at FIFA Scouting. Use the hashtag ScoutingGod. Or you can uh, take a picture and leave a link in the comments below. Or you could do the same on the FIFA Scouting Tips.com website. So you've got until 30th of November for that. So just a few more days and I'll do a video um, after the deadline showing the winners so you can see how good some of these players were. Uh, make sure you also leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.